नमस्कार आज हम लोग भारतीय जनता पार्टी माइनॉरिटी मोर्चा के अंतर्गत हम लोग शुक्रिया मोदी जी अभियान आयोजन किए हैं और ये शुक्रिया मोदी जी अभियान में आप देखे हैं हमारे मुस्लिम बहनें माताएं यहाँ पे एकत्रित हुए हैं आंध्र प्रदेश के अलग अलग जगह से आए हैं ये लोग आज हम विजयवाड़ा में राष्ट्र प्रदेश कार्यालय के बाहर हम लोग उपस्थित हुए हैं आप लोग को जानने जानने के लिए हम लोग खुशी महसूस करते हैं कि आज ये शुक्रिया मोदी जी अभियान के तहत हम लोग हमारे यशस्वी प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी को शुक्रिया गुजारने चाहते हैं कि उन्होंने हमारे समाज के मुस्लिम बहनें और माताओं के लिए जिस तरीके से उन्होंने तहे दिल से हमारे महिलाओं का जो प्रॉब्लम्स है जो इश्यूज़ है उन्होंने समझा और उसी हिसाब से एड्रेस किया आई एल ऑल्सो एड्रेस इन आई एल ऑल्सो एड्रेस इन इंग्लिश बिकॉज नॉट एवरीबडी अंडरस्टैंड हिंदी हियर सो हियर टुडे वी आर असम्बल्ड हियर ऑन बी हाफ ऑफ ऑल द मुस्लिम वुमेंस ऑफ मुस्लिम वुमेन ऑफ आंध्र प्रदेश अंडर द बैनर ऑफ भारतीय जनता पार्टी माइनॉरिटी मोर्चा दिस अभियान इज हैज़ बिन इनिशिएटेड बाई Uh, the national team of minority morcha bhartiya janata party we started uh, uh, from the state of tamil nadu further on to uttarakhand in haridwar and uh, dehradun we further on we we have con- uh, we have conducted the program in assam followed by tripura and gujarat and we are continuing this avian across all districts and all states of the country particularly we want to we have conda- we have initiated this program to express our heartfelt gratitude to our honorable prime minister narendra modi modi ji for understanding the pain of muslim women in different sections of society in different corners of the country what should have been done by the previous governments in the last 65 years i am sure you all are eye witness to what has been initiated and implemented and successfully implemented by our honorable prime minister narendra modi ji in the last 9 years we have seen that modi ji has not only reached to uh, the last person of the society which we call the antodaya the ideology of bjp he has really actualized it and if we look into the grow, growth trajectory of the country we know that how he how women are getting empowered with uh, with time in different sectors and uh, Uh, with initiatives from vocal for local to different uh, to different initiatives he has uh, through the initiatives of the government of india the central government uh, a lot of empowerment has happened now we through this shukriya modi ji abhiyan we are thanking honorable prime minister particularly for three factors the n- number one is uh, um, the abolition of triple talaq the ban of triple talaq triple talaq talaq is a urdu word and it is for um, bringing an end to my, to the constitution of marriage between the husband and wife so w- this triple talaq through triple talaq in a muslim uh, in the muslim samaj it is like in the muslim society if a husband writes even through a sms talaq 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 thrice then there is automatic divorce in between the husband and the wife he might not pronounce in front of her but even a email will also uh, be subjected to the matter that the marriage will come to an end so what happens after triple talaq there is absolutely unrest in the girl's house in the daughter's house your daughter is getting married you let her go to your son in law's place tomorrow she is she is chased out of her son in law's house and there is unrest in your house because your daughter is coming back your society is not accepting because your daughter got married and she is back to your home your her brothers and sisters are not being treated well in the society her parents happens to go through a mental trauma true true the abolition and the ban of triple talaq what has modi ji done he has given social security to all the muslim women of the country irrespective of the fact whether we are having ruling bjp ruling government in the state or not is secondary but he has given 
uh, like you know, there is a there is a statement called Saha Dharma Samavapanna. He has given equal respect to all religions, to all women from all strata and in all societies. Because of the because of bringing an end to triple talaq, today all our Muslim sisters and mothers are safe. They are they are not they are not afraid. They are not scared of their husbands leaving them out of this triple talaq of pronounce, pronouncing or writing talaq thrice. And uh, this, through this, we have we are also observing that women not only feel socially secured, but they feel socially and morally empowered. At the same time, I would like to say that you know that second point is mehram free hajj. There was a time when uh, uh, before Modi ji's government. There was a time when women wanted to go for pilgrimage to Mecca in Saudi Arabia, but they are not able to perform because there was no, they did not have a male member. There are mothers who did not have husbands. There are sisters who did not have brothers. And under different circumstances, many female, females could not perform Hajj pilgrimage. But after uh, Modi ji coming to power, we have observed that women above 45 years of age can perform Hajj uh, without mehram and this year we have a tremendous record 4314 women who has been able to successfully conduct pilgrimage in Mecca without a male member so the number might not look so big in front of you all but if we have 4000 women standing on the street now I'm sure the highways will be pretty blocked so this is the number we are talking about also we want to express our gratitude for introduction of the women reservation bill uh, where he has not only given respect and uh, due honor and uh, what has been talked over the years, it is Modi ji led government which has actualized and which is yet actualizing things into reality. Whatever has been pronounced has been brought, uh, brought to pass. And it is every work of BJP, every document, every word pronounced by Honorable PM Modi ji is a, re is a word which is being well researched. He does not talk under, unlike the Indi Alliance leaders. Our BJP leaders talk after proper study and research and then, for example, the manifestos that is being given in, before the elections, that is also a proper research document. Likewise, every word pronounced by BJP during the elections, the promises given, I, we want to thank Honorable PM Modi ji for fulfilling every word pronounced and we are utterly grateful on behalf of all the Muslim sisters and mothers of uh, Andhra Pradesh. We bow our head to, uh, with gratitude to Honorable PM Modi ji for understanding our pain, probably which might not have been expected to be understood uh, not uh, by anybody other than a father and what he is doing is beyond a godfather. Thank you so much. Namaskar.